This JTS Mortgage Minute is brought to you by JTS and Company Mortgage Professionals. Hey, good morning. I'm Jeff Farnham. There was a 5% increase in a weekly measure of mortgage application volume in recent weeks. This called, caused the Mortgage Bankers Association Composite Market Index to reach its highest level since May of 2013. The gain was driven by a surge in refinance activity, resulting in the refinance index moving up to 15% from the previous week. Average 15 and 30 year fixed rates are in a very good place right now, and it could be extremely beneficial to give us a call to see if a refinance makes sense for you. Some of you may be lucky enough to have already received your tax refund. If you've already received it or are expecting a refund this year, you need to have a good plan for your money. Don't allow your refund to burn a hole in your pocket on frivolous things. Give your money a purpose. Think about your personal goals and financial situation and determine your needs. Several financial priorities you may want to consider are to start or increase an emergency fund. Without an emergency fund, just one surprise major expense can send you on a debt spiral. Unexpected medical expenses, car repair, or something more severe could catch you in a situation where an emergency fund would save you a lot of stress and undo damage to your credit. Pay down high interest rate debt, such as lo title loans, debt consolidation loans, credit card debt, or even student loans. The more of these you can pay off, the better your debt to inc income ratios will look. Pay a lump sum towards the principal on your mortgage loan. Making additional payments on the principal balance of your loan could possibly have you paying off your mortgage three to five years earlier than expected, or maybe even sooner. Refinance your mortgage or make home improvements. When you refinance your mortgage, you must still pay closing costs. Use your tax refund to pay the closing costs and reduce your loan balance. This could save you additional interest, lower your monthly payments, or shorten, shorten the term of the loan. If you're happy with your mortgage rate and terms, take a look around the house. Do you need a new roof? Is your kitchen or bathroom outdated? Maybe new energy efficient appliances could lower your, util your utility bills. Home improvement projects can immediately increase the value of your home. If you're not getting a tax refund this year, don't worry. You may still have options by using the equity in your home to do a cash out refinance. And we have options so you don't have to necessarily restart or move backwards with a new 30, 20, or even 15 year loan. There's a way to move forward with refinance into a new loan without restarting the term. It's called flex term for refinancing. This can help manage both budget and timeline, potentially saving hundreds or thousands of dollars over the life of loan. For example, if you have a 27 years left on the term of your current loan and don't want to refinance to another 30, we can simply set your amortization to 27 or 25 years or a shorter term, maybe just what you need. We will look at your financial situation and your goals and determine if the flex term refi meets your needs. Working with a local lender like JTS and Company is always best. We want to be your lifetime mortgage advisor. If you're in the market to purchase, refinance, renovate, or build a home, it's important to remember that JTS and Company is here to help you. We are local, trusted, and experienced, and we care about your home buying experience, and that's why we make home ownership easy. Remember, there's more to a mortgage than just pushing a button. Thank you for joining me today, and be sure to tune in next week. This JTS Mortgage Minute is brought to you by JTS and Company Mortgage Professionals.